Dry, cracked heels, unsightly toenails, Dr. Smith's foot care products are all you need for beautiful, touchable feet. Featured on CBS and is seen in Philadelphia style in Philadelphia magazines, this natural foot care system uses nature's best ingredients. Safe for diabetics too. Soy, aloe, and vitamin E combine together in our best-selling foot cream, hydrating your skin and leaving feet silky smooth. Or try our top-selling toenail treatment with tea tree oil, nature's fighting power against toenail fungus. The nail treatment can also be used for athlete's foot and dry skin. Use with the foot cream for amazing results. MyBadFeet.com is also a resource for foot care information. For best results, try Dr. Smith's foot care system. Don't be embarrassed by your feet any longer. Go to MyBadFeet.com and order your products today. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Masai Smith and welcome to my show, My Bad Feet. I'm a practicing foot surgeon in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and I really, really appreciate you taking your time to sit down and chat with me about your feet. Yes, I said it's your feet. I know feet are taboo and a lot of people don't like to talk about them, but on my show that's what we talk about. We talk about feet. And I have some interesting topics for you today. Um, one of the topics is uh, cosmetic surgery. In my practice, I get so many women who are interested in cosmetic surgery. On my website, mybadfeet.com, I get questions. And now I'm lucky enough to get questions from all over the world about foot health as well as cosmetic surgery. But that's the number one. I tell a lot of people that I know and a lot of patients that 95% of my surgeries are women. And why is that? Because women are really concerned about their feet. Men, not so much. Men come in after there's a problem or the thing is about to fall off, but, uh, but they come to me too. This, this show is important in giving you uh, important information in reference to foot health in regards to um, treatment protocols as well as um, planning as well as what the questions you should ask when you're talking to your surgeon. Now, we're going to jump right into it. I have an email here and on my website, mybadfeet.com, you can ask Dr. Smith many questions and I get questions from all over the world now. I have a young lady from the United Kingdom. Now, I'm going to read this really, really quick. I live in the United Kingdom, so I'm not unable to pop in for a consultation. Uh, her next paragraph is, I have bad feet and really need help to sort, uh, sort them out. It's starting to consume my life stopping me from doing things and having, and having a severe impact on my confidence. Now, I'm not going to read the entire, e uh, the entire email, but that is so important when we talk in terms of uh, cosmetic surgery. A lot, of, a lot of women especially are so embarrassed about their feet that they want to get some real answers on what they can do about them. And um, I'm going to show you a picture of this young lady's feet and uh, show you what I, what I saw. I haven't answered this email yet. I told her I had to give her some thought on exactly what I should do. But I want to uh, take a look at that, that, right, that right toe. Now, I haven't discussed in detail, so I don't know exactly what's happened to her feet, but I want to tell you this. That, that, right, that right corn on a fifth toe, which is the baby toe, I see this all the time. Either it's continuous wear and tear or a different type of shoes or wearing uh, shoes that do not fit ent entirely correctly. Now, we're going to stay with this picture for a moment. Now, I saw a, a previous patient um, a couple weeks ago in my private practice and this young lady had these same these same lesions and you know what they were from they were from using the uh, the acid base uh, corn pad removal systems inappropriately and that's one of the things you have to be very very concerned about but one of the things I'm thinking about telling this young lady is one of the procedures that can be done and one of the things I do in my office is what's called a skin plasty procedure where I'll actually um, if if the toes are hurting and that when you see that that mark right on the distal tip what I'll do is I'll take a wedge of skin out and, and the hopes of reducing that deformed area sometimes that works and honestly sometimes it doesn't so you have to be really really careful um, in, in, in regards to cosmetic surgery and make sure, cosmetic procedures and make sure that you you speak with your doctor and you understand exactly what you're getting into now understand this go back understand this anytime you're gonna have any type of procedure on your feet it's important that it's, it's really an issue um, I've had patients that were interested in cosmetic procedures, but I wouldn't perform them simply because they want it simply for cosmesis. Now, what I mean by that is that just because it, it doesn't look good doesn't mean it needs to be operated on. I had a young lady I did surgery on a couple of weeks ago. This young lady had a second toe that was a little bit long, 
But the toe was straight. It wasn't causing any pain. And she pretty much begged. This young lady sent me email. She sent me an email about an implant in the hopes that I can put that implant in her toe to shorten her toe and actually put the implant in to hold the space. I mean, she had done tons of research. The reason why I bring that up is because a lot of people think just because, again, because it doesn't look good, it should be operated on, and it really shouldn't be. And a good surgeon won't do that to you. A good surgeon will guide you in a proper way and actually um, suggest procedures that, that won't necessarily cause you any problems. In other words, if I'd have done that surgery on her toe, it may have damaged the toe that was, in all honesty, was, with, was, was, it, was within normal limits. It was just happened to be a little long. So you don't want to do that. Um, back to the picture. Now, we actually, we have a, another, another um, um, patient here, but can we go back to the previous one? I want to finish up. Now, this young lady, what I'm probably going to suggest to her that one, if she's using those acid corn pads, to please stop using them. Um, one of the other things is it's probably discussed with her doctor and possibly receiving what's called the skin plastic procedure to derotate the toe. Um, so they're a little bit straighter, specifically those last three, especially the fifth toe. And in that, the ability to remove the uh, skin lesions, especially if these uh, corns are painful. If they're painful, then a cosmetic procedure um, would be her best bet. But keep in mind, I'm saying cosmetic, but what I really mean is a surgical procedure that um, offers cosmetic results, not necessarily cosmetic surgery. When we're talking in terms of feet, you don't want to discuss cosmetic surgery. I know I've mentioned it, but it's more so a procedure that has a result of cosmetic results. For example, if a surgeon does a bunion procedure, and we all know what bunions are, don't run, you got them, show them, <laughs> let me see them come to my office, I'll tell you what to do with them. But the point is, is that if you have a bunion, it's a big old bump on your big toe, everybody knows that, and it can be extremely painful. Well, I've had patients that have had huge bunions, and you know, if they, and they would ask me about them. Maybe they had another problem with their foot, and that's what we were dealing with at the time. But they'll say, you know, Doc, what do you think about this? And I ask you, does it hurt? They'll say, you know, no, it doesn't hurt. Well, no, we don't need to do anything. However, if it does hurt and it's, all, and it's causing problems in the shoes or, or um, daily, daily walking and activities, what we do is we can do the bunion surgery, but then the, the, the cosmetic is, the cosmetic aspect of doing a bunion surgery is the result. Once we get rid of that huge bump, now we have a beautiful result, and that's a cosmetic result. So that's what I mean by cos co you know, cosmetic surgery and foot care, because there isn't really a cosmetic surgery and foot care. What there is are procedures that have cosmetic results, um, but are totally necessary. Now we have another young lady, her email, she came to mybadfeet.com, and she, her question was, uh, good morning, Dr. Smith. Thanks for the prompt response, because I responded to her earlier. And she found my website on Google, and again, it's mybadfeet.com. You can go there for plenty of information, anything you need to know about feet, and if it's not there, we can talk about it where you can ask Dr. Smith. As you can see from the attached picture, picture I have several things going on. First of all, two bionectomies, three follow-up surgeries, five total, exclamation point. I have hideous scars on my feet. To add to that, my right big toe seems to be overcorrected. She said, uh, her left foot, she has a very hard knot, and she put it could be scar tissue. So this young lady sounds like she's done her homework. Now, this young lady, is, it's, it's a difficult case. When you, when you talk in terms of, of foot, uh, foot care, and especially after something's already been surgically um, done to correct that, that issue, it's really tough to be able to go in and redirect uh, the bones and the structures of the feet and the soft tissue. The foot's a very small structure, so whenever you perform certain procedures, there's a lot of swelling, there's, there's scarring that can occur, there's some uh, def um, deformities that can occur. So it's very important that you understand exactly what you're going in, what you're um, getting into. Uh, this young lady and I uh, conversed a little bit, and we talked about her, um, her problem, and, and basically I had to let her know that it wouldn't be smart to continue getting these procedures, because she was interested in um, obtaining additional procedures. And the important thing is just not, not to continue to have your foot cut on or any part of your body to, con uh, continuous, uh, to continuously have these, to, to continuously have surgery, excuse me. It's important for you to sit down and understand exactly what you get into. Um, the scars, chances are there's nothing that can be re really be done with those simply because any other surgical procedure is going to reproduce the same scarring. She says that her right foot is, looks overcorrected, but it actually looks pretty straight. The other toes haven't caught up with it yet,
but the toe look the toe looks pretty good. Now remember when you're talking about uh, foot surgery, it's cosmetic results, not cosmetic surgery. Make sure you're well informed by your foot surgeon and reference to exactly what you're getting into. The previous young lady had multiple surgeries, has um, increasing pain and discomfort, but unfortunately any additional procedures may make the process, may, may, may make her feet worse. So you have to be very, very careful and, and again that you're well schooled on the type of procedure that you're getting. Uh, do some research. If you go to mybadfeet.com and you go to my foot health section, well guess what? We have videos that, that uh, outline the procedure that you're receiving and you can also you can also print it out and if you don't know the exact procedure contact me maybe I can send you some information I, I can't tell you how many people I've sent the information to that um, I'll just send them links like it may not be on my website but I look forward to giving you good productive information and anything you need just let me know look we're gonna go on the break and we're gonna come and talk about some other interesting things in reference to feet dry cracked heels Unsightly toenails? Dr. Smith's foot care products are all you need for beautiful, touchable feet. Try our top-selling toenail treatment with tea tree oil, nature's fighting power against toenail fungus. Don't be embarrassed by your feet any longer. Go to MyBadFeet.com and order your products today. Call 877-414-FEET or online at MyBadFeet.com. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Masai Smith and welcome to my show, My Bad Feet. Yes, I said that's the name, My Bad Feet. You weren't hearing wrong. My website is mybadfeet.com and I'm a practicing foot surgeon in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And if uh, after the show you have foot problems, come see me. I'm easy to find. Now, what we're going to talk about, we just talked about cosmetic uh, foot surgery. And remember, we were saying to wrap it all up, we we're saying it's not really cosmetic surgery on the feet. What it is is that cosmetic result. Um, happens when you have certain foot deformities and you have surgery. Uh, we had a couple of interesting pictures in reference, um, reference to some emails that I received. One lady was across the seas at the United Kingdom and we have some, uh, some uh, questions from her and we, we tried to answer those. Uh, in short, be careful when you have any type of procedures on your feet. I mean, if you, you have to be well versed in exactly what's going on with you. If you have any questions, go to mybadfeet.com. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about, so common, look at this. Anybody know this word? Onychomycosis, fancy, fancy word for nail fungus. I get emails all the time where people are so concerned about their toenails, either they're discolored or they're not shaped well or they had a, a toenail procedure and the nail is just falling off or I, I just can't tell you all the problems. And you'd be amazed at how many problems there are on the feet. I'm amazed. There, at this book alone is just talking about fungus of the feet, of the hands and all the different types of diseases that can occur with, uh, with, with, the, um, with the toenails and as well as the fingernails. But we're gonna concentrate on the toenails. Now, let me read this email I received from a young lady. She said, do you offer a procedure to fix toenails that are thick and damaged? And she indicated there's no fungal infection. I think my nail bed is damaged. Now, obviously this young lady's done her homework because just because you have a thick, a thick toenail, it may not be toenail fungus. It could, be, it could be damage to the nail bed. It could be the nail is just thick. It could be genetic issues. It could be damage to the, the growth plate of the nail, which is called the nail matrix, which is right behind, we'll bring up this picture again, which is kind of right behind the growth plate of the nail. Now, why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up because I'm about to make you happy. All the ladies out there that have discolored toenails um, that are slightly disfigured, there's a brand new product out there. It's called Carryflex. And the great thing about Carryflex, so there it is right there, is that it's a same day uh, non-medication application. Carryflex is a, a total cosmetic procedure and what it does is an application of a resin that we put on top of the nail. We're gonna key back to this picture in just a second so I can talk more about that. What I do is I actually, um, with the use of an ultraviolet light, I apply a resin and, and rebuild you a toenail. I've done this on several patients with uh, great results. Um, I've done it on a couple patients in which we didn't have so great results, but what we um, decided to do is there were three levels of Carryflex. There was a clear, um, there was a natural, and there was an opaque. And what I figured out is that the opaque is very, is, uh, very useful in covering uh, discolorations in the toenail. So since I've been using the opaque application, I've gotten great results. Let's go back to that picture though. Look at that. This is a, a typical individual who has a mycotic nail that's just been 
eaten away by uh, toenail fungus. And you can see in the first toe, third toe, uh, I believe fourth toe and fifth toe. And you can see on, the, on your right side that after the Carriflex application, it takes about 20, 20, 25 minutes uh, application. It's set with a special ultraviolet light. Now this individual can go to the beach, they can go and do whatever they want. This, this application lasts approximately eight weeks, uh, depending on the, uh, the uh, growth of your nail. Um, after a period of time, the nail will grow out, so it has to be, it has to be maintained in 30-day 30, in 30 segments. So after you receive this application, uh, you should come back and see your, your, your specially trained podiatrist and have it uh, kind of debrided down a little bit. And what debrided means is that the, the Carriflex is going to grow it's going to grow beyond the nail. So what happens is you have to clean it up and it molds into the nail. Now, I had a young man today who was coming back for his uh, next application of Carriflex in my office, but I had to come here and do the show, so I didn't have, I didn't have time to do it. It does take a little bit of time. Um, you should go to Carryflex.com, K-E-R-Y, Flex, F-L-E-X.com, and um, they, I, I, th I believe at this time they will have a listing of podiatrists who are... Uh, certified to do this application. Yes, I am. I'm certified to do this application in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And if you're interested and you have any questions, I'll offer a, uh, a free consultation and reference and reference to this product as well as any other products. Yes, that's my business card. Look at that award-winning podiatrist. And a lot of people joke me, say, what awards have you won? Well, I have won one award from the Tribune. And, uh, and I also, as you know, I treat the toenail fungus, the hammer toes, the bunions, the diabetic foot care, dry cracked skin heel pain, and again, cosmetic surgery. Um, the reason why I say that is because that's what most people will be drawn to. But remember, it's not necessarily cosmetic surgery. It just offers a cosmetic result. And um, again, if you have any questions in reference to the Carry Flex, you can actually go to my website, mybadfeet.com, and click on the blog. And if you, can't, if you don't want to do that, you can actually go to mybadfeet.com and actually go to Ask Dr. Smith. And then I'll answer whatever questions you have. You know, it's, it's free to ask the question. I don't charge anybody. Um, and I've, like I said, I've gotten some interesting questions from now all over the world. And I really appreciate, appreciate uh, the folks that take the time and read my website and then ask um, specific questions so I'm able to help you better. Um, look, we're going to go on the break again, and we're going to talk about some more things when I uh, return. Dry, cracked heels, unsightly toenails, Dr. Smith's foot care products are all you need for beautiful, touchable feet. Featured on CBS and is seen in Philadelphia style in Philadelphia magazines, this natural foot care system uses nature's best ingredients. Safe for diabetics, too. Soy, aloe, and vitamin E combine together in our best-selling foot cream, hydrating your skin and leaving feet silky smooth. Or try our top-selling toenail treatment with tea tree oil, nature's fighting power against toenail fungus. The nail treatment can also be used for athlete's foot and dry skin. Use with the foot cream for amazing results. MyBadFeet.com is also a resource for foot care information. For best results, try Dr. Smith's foot care system. Don't be embarrassed by your feet any longer. Go to MyBadFeet.com and order your products today. Welcome back to my show. I'm Dr. Masai Smith, practicing foot surgeon in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, my show is My Bad Feet, and that's the name. <laughs> you didn't hear it wrong. Uh, again, welcome back. We had a couple subjects that we talked about previously in the show. One was cosmetic results in foot surgery or cosmetic surgery, and we had some very interesting points there. Uh, also, the second part was toenail fungus, in which we mentioned a very new product called Carryflex, in which I apply uh, a special resin to toenails that are discolored and disfigured and allows you to have pretty looking toenails in about 20 minutes. One of the things I forgot to mention about the toenail fungus treatment is that it's a special resin, so it can help to suffocate and, um, and it doesn't allow water uh, to permeate under the toenail, where some people receive the, uh, the toenail ac ac acrylics and what happens with those is that the, uh, the moisture gets under the toenail and it can cause severe damage to the toenail. So Carriflex is an excellent option. I'm going to show you that card again about my uh, Carriflex application. Here it is. And yes, these results are in 20 minutes. A lot of people question whether or not it's painless. Um, even when I show people uh, the, uh, the, the card and, what, and the information I have in my office and they ask me whether or not it's painful, it's not painful. It's a painless procedure. Application is about 20, 20 to 30 minutes. 
and it's a, it's a special resin that we put on top of the nail in which we, we mold you a whole new toenail. And I know it's a lot of people jumping for joy and want to come into my office right now and uh, give me a call. And speaking of that, you'll see my 1-800 number under this segment, and you can call me at any time. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to talk more about my website. My website's mybatfeet.com. So the show, My Bad Feet, the website, mybatfeet.com, makes sense. All goes together like a big old family. On my website, we have a blog. And what I do on this blog, I try to, um, I try to uh, put out there a lot, of, uh, a lot of good information, a lot of information um, that I put out there. It's based on emails that I receive from patients. And um, a lot of emails that I've received um, talking about as well as the toenail fungus and, and cosmetic foot surgery, which is a big question, is how do I know when I need to see a foot doctor? I'm not, I'm not really sure, doc. So one of the things I want to talk about is some of those. So I'm going to go between you and my email. So we're here together. Now, if you go to my blog on, on mybaffy.com, you go to the blog, one of the latest um, um, blogs that I created is um, when should you visit a podiatrist? Eight signs of foot problems. And we're going to go through each one of them briefly. Now, the first one is interesting. It says one, I'm not going to read the entire thing. You have to go on the website and read it for yourself. Uh, number one, when a foot appears flatter than the other, or if you notice that, one, uh, that the arch of one of, your, of one of your feet is flatter than the other. And that's just the first sentence. And I'm going to tell you why that's an issue. Um, I've seen uh, hundreds and hundreds of patients. And, and what I've seen is what's called a limb length discrepancy. Um, it's, it, it is just as, as it sounds. It's when one limb is slightly longer or shorter, um, depending on how you want to say it, than the other. And that's a real big problem that a lot of people don't realize they have. And how do we correct that? Of course, if you're a grown man or woman, no one can, can correct your leg at, at that late stage in life. But one of the things, ta da what's that? That's, that's a, a, what's called an orthotic. And a lot of people have heard of them. A lot of people think they're orthopedic shoes. And orthopedic shoes, they're devices that go in your feet. And why would this help you? Because one, if you're in need of, a arch, of arch support, because usually if one limb's longer than the other, the longer limb is going to be extremely flat. So usually there's a lot of, um, a lot of shock going on. And you can imagine, you walk seven to 10,000 steps a day, average. And every time you take a step, if you're hitting this flat surface, uh, which uh, the ground, and that's exactly what it is, well, all that shock is going through your entire body. So it's important to receive a good arch support. Not everyone may need custom orthotics, but orthotics are extremely important. Um, they, can, they can help with lower back pain, knee pain, and arch support. Now, in terms of a limb length discrepancy, what's important about an orthotic is that we can tell the company to actually build the orthotic up on one side. So in other words, these you can tell, these are the same. But what happened, if this individual that needed these orthotics had a limb length discrepancy, well, guess what? They will put a little heel on here. It could be as little as an eighth of an inch. It could be as high as a quarter of an inch or half an inch. But what that can do is that can hide in your shoe. And what that does, it brings your body kind of a, a more, um, um, I, I guess, a neutral state. And, and you'd be surprised. I have a, a friend of mine now in North Carolina. Um, before he moved to North Carolina, that's what I had to do for him. I had to give him a pair of orthotics that corrected his limb length discrepancy. Because before that, he was having severe near knee pain. Now, after we gave him the orthotics, he still had some issues. However, the knee pain was, uh, was uh, reduced um, dr uh, dramatically, and he was extremely happy. So yes, at my office, we do offer custom orthotics. Um, I'm perfectly willing to give you an evaluation if you think you need it. Women, we have orthotics for you, too. These are hap or happen to be for men, but we do have a, uh, a, a type of orthotic that you can wear in one inch and one inch pumps uh, or one inch however you guys describe your shoes and, and other type of shoes as well as your sneakers. If you're going to wear the, the, uh, the high heels and things of that nature, it's good to have a device that will help support your feet. I always tell people, you still may ask me, you know, what is an orthotic? What exactly does it do again? It allows support. It allows you to put your feet in what's called a neutral position so you can walk comfortably and uh, with less strain on your upper extremity. Also, think of orthotics like this. Um, after you receive braces, the dentist gives you a, a retainer, usually. Now, the retainer doesn't really correct anything. What it does, it holds the work that that doctor did in place. Think of an orthotic like that. Um, we mold your feet, and we put your feet in a, in a better position, take the mold, send it out to a lab. They create a product that allows your feet to be in a better position every time you take a step. So if you have lower back, lower back pain, knee pain, and, and chronic ankle pain and flat feet. All you guys with flat feet out there should see your foot doctor. Um, you should really look into a good pair of custom orthotics. Um, give, your, give your podiatrist a call. Women, if you have the hammer toes, men, if you have the bunions, women also, 
If you have these issues, look into a good pair of orthotics. Uh, my office is in Rittenhouse Square in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You'll see my 1-800 number right under this um, presentation, uh, or this segment, and you will be able to uh, come to my office and we can um, sit you or evaluate you for a good pair of custom orthotics and also look into other issues that you may have. Now, I'm going to get through the other ones quickly. Um, number two, real quick, when a foot undergoes pain or inflammation, you should see a foot doctor. That's, or I'm sorry, a doctor, period. But your foot doctor is very well versed in foot pain and inflammation. It could be a traumatic event. It could be simply as a gout, a gout inflammation, which a lot of people have in their feet. If you have diabetes, it could be a real serious issue. Check the bottoms of your feet daily. Be careful of the tops of um, socks that you wear. Make sure you wear diabetic socks. That don't, um, certain socks that don't have the bands to constrict um, circulation in the lower extremity. Make sure you check all that stuff. Now, again, my, web, my website's mybadfeet.com. If I missed something or you just didn't understand, contact me. We can talk. We're going to go with number three real quick. Uh, when a wound or sore refuses to heal, well, first of all, if you have a sore in your foot, you should have gone to see somebody already. But if you're hard-headed, like most people out there, um, after, you know, if you have a sore that technically should have closed up in a couple days, I mean, they should all close up. Um, not even a couple days, in a few hours, um, you should go see somebody immediately. The emergency room, your doctor, but you need to see somebody immediately. Depending on what your situation is and your health status, that wound on a normal person should just close up depending on the type of wound. Now, of course, a big enough wound and, and enough blood, okay, obviously you should go somewhere and get it checked out, especially if you're diabetic. Immediately make that phone call. Wow, th th there's just so much information. There's no way I can get through all eight steps. There's no way I can get through all the things that are necessary to um, keep you well informed about your feet. But my website does. If you go to mybadfeet.com, it offers tons of information. I look forward to you going to the website and getting all the information you need. Remember, Ask Dr. Smith is very important. I enjoy it. I sit at my little computer at night and I answer these questions um, for uh, of the bulk of the evening. Um, I really appreciate you being here. We were, you were sitting right here next to me. Um, I know you had questions for me, but unfortunately I can't see you, but I know you can see me. So I really look, uh, I really look forward to hearing from you. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the time we had here. Um, again, I'm Dr. Masai Smith, practicing foot surgeon in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. My show is My Bad Feet, and my website is MyBadFeet.com. Look, you take care, and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye-bye. Dry, cracked heels, unsightly toenails? Dr. Smith's foot care products are all you need for beautiful, touchable feet. Featured on CBS and is seen in Philadelphia style in Philadelphia magazines, this natural foot care system uses nature's best ingredients. Safe for diabetics, too. Soy, aloe, and vitamin E combine together in our best-selling foot cream, hydrating your skin and leaving feet silky smooth. Or try our top-selling toenail treatment with tea tree oil, nature's fighting power against toenail fungus. The nail treatment can also be used for athlete's foot and dry skin. Use with the foot cream for amazing results. MyBadFeet.com is also a resource for foot care information. For best results, try Dr. Smith's foot care system. Don't be embarrassed by your feet any longer. Go to MyBadFeet.com and order your products today. My